Nighthawk firing system, as you can see, there's 45 individual firing switches, but it can actually shoot up to 540 different cues. You'll notice over here you have multiple connectors. Each one of these connectors corresponds to a cable that would go out to a 45 shot field module. You select those field modules by pressing these individual buttons. When a particular bank is selected, so let's say bank A is selected, these 45 switches will correspond to field module A. When you select bank B, these 45 switches will correspond to and fire anything on field module B. For checking continuity on this particular system, you simply turn the power on and it automatically puts it into continuity mode. These LED lights above each switch are your continuity indicators. When you have good continuity on a particular queue, you'll see that light illuminated green. Anything that you don't have continuity on will not be illuminated at all. For this particular example, we plug something into 23 so that you can see what the continuity indicator looks like. Once you're ready to go to fire mode, you simply turn the arming key. The system will beep as well as the red indicator light above arm to indicate that the system is now armed. Now whenever you press a switch, you will fire that circuit. After you fire a shot, you will see a red flashing LED above that switch. Once you move on and fire additional shots, the red flashing LED will always be above the last shot fired and the shots that have been fired will have turned solid red. We don't have anything hooked up right now, but if we did, the shots that have not been fired yet would be showing green unless there was nothing hooked to them to begin with, in which case they would just show up as blank. Now if you were to go out of order when shooting, you can see the system will continue to work in the same fashion showing what shot you have shot last and what you have not fired yet. When you have exhausted all 45 shots on a particular field module, you simply select the next module you would like to shoot from and now we have 45 shots on the next field module. Remember that this 45 shot system is internally grounded which is why it only has 45 shots per field module. So you do not need to run a separate ground between your firing board and the field modules. The system does use internal batteries. However, if you show up to a show site and the batteries are dead, which would be indicated on the LCD screen, you can hook up an external 12 volt battery to the two battery terminals you see here. Remember that it must be 12 volts and not a set of batteries tied in a 24 volt string as would be done with the other pin board firing systems we typically use. When using external batteries, instead of flipping the power switch up, you would simply flip it down, which will put it in a mode to utilize the external batteries.